an indictment against our unfair and unjust country. Chanting Black Lives Matter and seeing the signs in the march that I know people want us to say all lives matter, but it is true. All lives won't matter until black lives do matter. I just need somebody in this audience right here to just lift your hands and lift your fists and say, not on my watch. Not on my watch. I have been educating myself. I've been watching the news. I have been watching and listening. And I want to say that in this fight here, this is a new fight. This is a different fight. We will fight with new strategies. Our strategies are we are educating ourselves. Our strategies are we are not being predictable. And I was standing here in my mind, I thought, my, I looked in the eyes of my one of my 13 grandchildren, she is 10 years old, and she asked me, she said, Grandma, why do you have to march? I looked at her and I had three of them sitting on the, on the couch and I said to them, because of you. Uh -huh. Right, right, right. My grandchildren deserve a better America. Amen, amen. Your grandchildren deserve a better America. Is so racist. We call you out. You're racist. I will not sing God bless America. I will sing God forgive America. Because we must repent of our evil doing. I want to say, my son began to say to me, said, Mom, racism is not a color condition. It is a heart condition. And you find people who were bullies in high school. They made up in their mind to get in the blue uniform yes. so they can bully with a gun and a badge. Yes. But we call you out, you have to be the biggest coward in the universe yes. and in hell to take someone who is handcuffed, laying on their belly, knee with your knee in their neck. Are you that insecure? Yes. Why does my blackness bother you? <laughs> this is not about a black and a white issue. It's about being on the side of right. And I'm about to give this mic up because I feel like I'm about to go into preach mode. Now, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Uh -huh. When they killed him, the Bible said, had they known what they, what they, what they were doing and who he was, they would have never put him on the cross. And God has a way to take a tragic situation and bring some good out of this. And I close with this. Had those